Hello and welcome to episode 53 of the Deep Dap and Notes podcast. It is January 12th, 2018. Yo, what up? It's our second podcast of the new year, gentlemen. Yep. So, how you One guys of many. Doing? One of 52. Two of 52. Two of 52, <laughs> yeah. 52 a year. <laughs> so, so I went back and I like retroactively changed all the uh, podcast mm-hmm. titles. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And I got really mad when I saw 19.5. I know. Tell me about it. <laughs> I was it. like, why did, why did I agree to this? <laughs> You're just like, oh, wow, it's totally, I have nothing to do with this. Yeah, it just, <laughs> but um, did you change that that title too? No. no. Oh, Because okay. then we, then like when we were like, oh, it's no, episode yeah, it blah, 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 wouldn't make, nothing would make yeah. sense. I know, I know. The hardest thing was to do, so you know the, the one we uh, interviewed, um, Andrew? Yeah. Yeah. So like you like named that like really weird. Mm-hmm. So like I had to like change, had to like create a new title for it because usually like when he's on it's like featuring I Go Boom. Yeah. But like that was the since first it was, he was like on, he was it yeah. wasn't really featuring him it was like interviewing. Stem- him. Oh, it's yeah. so spotlighting. Yeah, yeah. So I'd be like, oh, the life of a game developer <laughs> with special guest <laughs> yeah. Andrew. Oh, is that our new show now? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the life of a game developer. But I was like, then I was like KTX podcast level blah blah. blah. Yeah. 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 I- Good on you. Yeah. Must be yeah. hard work. Yeah, I'll, I'll, have to go in, ass to do. I'll have to go in and change the SoundCloud ones, because once we do that, that'll change the... Um, I oh, think does that'll it do change that? The, yeah, because that's how they're linked, I believe. Oh, okay. Yeah, the RSS. feed, yeah. So, right, okay. if I do that, we'll see. Anyway, right. thank you so much for joining us for this week's podcast. We uh, got some news to talk about. Yeah. Got yeah. Big news here. Last week was, was dry on news. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. past so, couple weeks have been pretty dry. Uh, we had our game of the year. That was the big one. Yeah, yeah. So. it's starting to pick up now. So let's go right into it, boys. Uh, I just wanted to say, yeah, um, we now have a new highest viewed video. Hey, hey. it's currently cool. two hundred and forty-one views. Nice, nice. With five hundred and eighty-eight minutes of watch time. Awesome, That's a lot. Yeah, and them Dokkan views. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to all our Dokkan fans out Thank there. You. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you, Gotcha Games. Yeah. <laughs> Draining my wallet. Yeah, <laughs> it, the, I'm, there's probably some hype around uh, fighters that makes the, um, the most of the DBZ stuff yeah. more popular. Well, I'm excited that we're getting a lot of Dokkan views because that yeah. might translate to fighter views. Yeah, when we, um, exactly. When we post videos on that, who yeah. knows? Perhaps we we keep like climbing in like subscribers too. Yeah. Shout out to you Facebook commentators who apparently hate oh, the dude. shit out of <laughs> Everyone hates Gohan yeah. for some reason. I didn't know everyone hated Gohan. This is news to it's me. It's like never, fuck Gohan. I was like, damn. I've never like met anybody who didn't like Gohan. Yeah. So, but now they're just like, oh, I, don't I, I think it was just the vocal minority. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Slads. <laughs> anyway. Um. Like, I was like, I was like, they just kept coming. I was like, okay, after the first guy, I didn't know we'd get like four other dudes. Yeah. Like, unrelated to each other. Gohan. Yeah, I was like, fuck Gohan. It's like, dude, do you even watch Cell Saga? Yeah. <laughs> like, that's him. Yeah, yeah, he's badass. I think people just like, don't like. Like great salmon, which is like a crime in itself. Yeah, I know. I agree. <laughs> yeah, they need to lighten up. Mm-hmm. You know, I remember yeah. when I was cosplaying great salmon. Someone, I, I this is at like uh, Kineticon. I was, I was actually some... gonna like make up like a, a like a state and a con and say Kineticon, <laughs> but then I guess it was real. <laughs> um, he like came up to me. He was like, "Oh, great salmon." I'm like, "Yep, yep, that's me." He's just like. Yeah, but like, does it like suck? Like, why go on? And you like went into a spiel. Like, why do you like <laughs> copy the Ginyu Force and stuff? I'm like, dude, I just watch a show and I really like it. Like, I don't. It's like show. I did again to like a philosophical, <laughs> you know, character study, on, theoretical debate. On, yeah, on a Toriyama character. Because let's be real, they're about as complicated as the vegetables they're named after. Yeah, like, you know, pretty so much. Let's move on now, shall mm-hmm. we? Um. You can go check out our Sayabun action or Cat Mario Sayabun videos action. on YouTube right now. The finale should be posted on another date. We had some audio issues. I mean, episodes yeah. three and four. Yeah. Yes. Excuse me, mm-hmm. three and four. Yeah. I forgot. I forgot. I keep thinking it's three episodes in my head. No. Because it was like one, two, three, but it's yeah. four. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, so that'll be posted eventually once we re-record those last two episodes. I mm-hmm. blame David. I agree. Me too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, at least we're in agreement. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then we this upcoming week, we're going to have... Um, Doki Doki Literature Club Doki Let's Doki Let's start up Yeah So don't know how long That's gonna be I mean we're doing well, Relatively long episodes So it's not gonna be Like a 30 episode well, actually, I don't know yeah, I don't prob- know prob- I have no idea Probably not Maybe but, 20, 20 But people seem to like That right now Lately <laughs> yeah. It's like the flavor Of the week at the moment So It's a cool little game And uh, Monday 
Uh, I know you, I don't know if you probably mentioned this in news or whatever, but I should mention it now. Monday, Tuesday, or I'm sorry, uh, Sunday, Monday is the beta for Fighters, and yep. I'm going to be playing don't that. Don't worry, we're going we're to talk I gotta, about I got to talk for a sec. Okay. And on Monday, uh, I'm probably going to be streaming that because it's Martin Luther King Day. That means I don't have to work. So yeah. uh, I'm just going to spend and all day playing that. Are you going to like upload the VODs to YouTube when you're done streaming it? Yeah, yeah I'll do that. There's yeah. really no reason not to. Yeah. So, hell yeah. So maybe you guys can join at some point. I don't know. Like you everyone come over. That's not in February? Huh? Martin Luther King Day? Uh, no. Huh. Well, <laughs> you have me like so <laughs> flabbergasted right now. I am like confident that it is this but, Monday. I mean, it's I'm sure Monday. you're right. I'm, no, no, yeah. It's I think Monday. every year I'm like, isn't Martin Luther, <laughs> Luther King Day in February? I, yeah. It's this, Martin, it's this Red, not Martin. <laughs> Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Sorry, Jr. Day. There we go. January 15th. Oh. I may, right. be, I may be able All to join right. you on Monday if I come over. Yeah, come um, on over. We'll play. We'll have Whatever. to bring a controller. Huh? PS4 controller. No, it's not going to be. Well, I, I don't, for one thing, I have two, but like, it's not going to be. Mobile. It's not like, yeah, it's not like, well, it's just oh, online. Okay. We just switch off. All right, yeah. yeah. Whatever. All right. And, uh, yeah, that'll be fun. Right. So, yeah, keep an eye out for that because that's going to be a big game and it'll come out soon. So, anyway, let's go right into releases. What do we have, Blake? Um, uh, yeah, two. Sorry. Got two whole releases. Two, tell me. Tell me. It's the beginning of the year. Nothing yeah. comes out in the beginning of the year. Except these two games. Mm-hmm. Jan- January 11th. For both of them. And they're both for the Switch. Uh huh. The uh-huh. Escape is two. Yep. And Super Meat Boy. Cool. Cool. Super um, Meat Boy Forever? No. Is the original. Super Meat Boy. Is oh, the yeah. Escapist. Uh, what's that game? Have you played the Escapist? I've never played it, but one, I've seen actually. it. Yeah. It's like a top down 16 bit, like. You're like in jail. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Anyway, let's go into news then. News. Beep 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 beep. So beep, beep, beep. we had. We're just gonna start with the big old story of the day because mm-hmm. it's like eight other stories in yep. one. Nintendo Direct. Nintendo Direct Mini. <gasps> yeah. So 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 everyone was like, because I, I was just following the wild ride on Twitter. And it was just like, when when's this direct coming? Mm. If because the rumor date was the eleventh, yes. But like they announced it like a day or two beforehand. Yeah. And every hour, mm. like people were like, they're gonna announce it, and then they don't. Yeah. And then like, eventually Nintendo just put up like a a picture of a chibi Robo on fire. Yeah, on fire. Uh, yep. And it was just like, people were losing their minds, and then they just dropped it the next day, because that's what they do for the mini directs. Right. But we didn't know it was gonna be a mini direct. Yeah. Had a lot of info, though, for me. Yeah. Direct. yeah. I agree. Let's get into it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, they just, they, just, they, just, they just started off with a little little bomb. Explosion. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. The World Ends With You. Final Remix. Yeah. Announced. I see you, Square Enix, with your names. Mm-hmm. Final Remix. Yeah. I see you. I know what they're doing. chapter. Yeah. yeah. Part two. <laughs> Damn it. Um, Kingdom Hearts treatment over here. No yeah. more. Didn't he make that game, too? Yeah. What? Yeah. For, Tetsuda, well, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Which is this is great. So go talk about it, and then we'll talk about it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is the 2008 Nintendo DS game that has been updated for Nintendo Switch with HD visuals. It contains a new epilogue that sheds new light on the game's story, and it connects to like the iPads ending with the girl mm-hmm. and seven days or whatever. Blah blah. blah. Yeah. Um, the rain. <laughs> yeah. So players can join rhythmic battles. Mm-hmm. Using either Joy-Con controllers or the Nintendo Switch touchscreen, and it's releasing in 2018. Nice, cool. Um, and it's gonna be sixty dollars. Whoa, is it, really? Is it really? I think so. No oh. way. Oh, that's <laughs> hey, that that Switch tax. <laughs> that just, that's why uh, Xenoverse is like fifty. That just killed some excitement, though. <laughs> what do you think it was like two dollars? It's a 2008 oh, game. I was hoping but for at least like it's updated. Yeah, I know. Which, for the Nintendo Switch with mm. HD visuals, just like the iPad should have been version, $40. which is eighteen dollars. Should have been forty dollars. That's my opinion. Not even. It should be thirty. Yeah. They released Battle Chasers for twenty five. That's I think true. They did release That's this true. game. It's been out for. Eight Listen, years. this is both Square Enix Ten tax years. and that is true. Switch tax, yeah, that which is, true. is just That's amplifies true. the price. <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not saying it should be sixty dollars. I'm mm-hmm. just saying that. Probably yeah. what's gonna happen. I yeah. I would highly recommend this game Me when too. it gets a, any sort of semblance of a price well, cut. Maybe. That's why I like both the Prime discount and the mm. uh, Best Buy Gamer Club yeah. unlocked. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like thirteen dollars off. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that makes it much more like 
45 around yeah. that money I, I would i would get it for that this one. is a very good game and a very long game yeah so it's probably I, okay 45 dollars sure that yeah be a good price. it um although uh i've never met anybody who played it on mobile because <clears throat> on the ds you have to like you play um two characters at once during combat you yeah. fight so i'm wondering if you just have like two you know joy cons you, you control them two simulated or? joysticks on mobile on Switch, it would work really well because a one Joy-Con for each character. Yeah, that's gonna well. be interesting. Yeah, so, but it's a great interesting. game. Interesting. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I, I think this is good for a lot of people um, who played uh, Dream Drop Distance and were yeah. like, "These characters yeah. are interesting. I want to mm-hmm. play their game." And then they looked online, and they're like, oh, "I don't want to pay that much for a DS version, yeah. or break out like my original DS, mm-hmm. and then, um, or you know, don't want to get on mobile because why do that?" So. Yeah, <laughs> this game has some of my favorite game music of all time. Yeah, the same thing. Boops and bops, banging, and boobity bops. That, yeah. that that Japanese hip hop. Yep, it's all it's all hip hop. Um, it, and yeah, the controls. They it seems kind of awkward to use the D pad for one character and the four buttons for the other, but it works really well. Mm. And it's not too hard to get down. Yeah, I, it's very jarring. At, at least when I played first time, mm-hmm. it was very jarring. But you like groove into it. Really. Yeah, yeah that's comes cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Great game. Cool. Mm-hmm. Lit. Bam. So. We also got, if you go to the next picture, we got two new Pokemon announced for Pokken oh. Tournament Deluxe. Oh, man. Via Battle Pack DLC. Two new Pokemans. We People have a sword. were like, this game's dead. No one's going <laughs> to. They're yeah. not going to put a DLC on it. Uh-huh. And they're like, here's two new characters via, via Battle Pack DLC. Mm-hmm. So, there's two waves. Wave one has one Pokemon in it. Aegislash, which is a little the, sword boy. The sword. Mm-hmm. From uh, Gen 6. Yes. I believe. Yeah, yeah from Kalos and stuff. Yeah. So uh, Aegislash, much like his gimmick in the game, can switch between two forms, like attack and defense, like a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Yeah. <laughs> um, and players can wield them both. Cool. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Um, this, this particular wave uh, comes with two support Pokemon, Mega Rayquaza. Cool. And Mimikyu. Yeah. All right, mimic you. Pretty sure. opposite ends of the spectrum yeah. there. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not just Rayquaza, fucking mega yeah, right. Rayquaza. <laughs> um, so this is releasing January thirty first, cool. which is pr- coming up pretty uh, pretty soon. Also, Wave two, which I don't have a picture for, because okay. they didn't really have a picture for, because yeah. they didn't have in game footage of this particular Pokemon. Um, we have Blastoise. Hey, oh cool. Um, and two support Pokemon, Mew and Celebi. Cool. Releasing awesome. March twenty third. Um, the DLC also comes with avatar items because these little anime boys, you can change your clothes, mm-hmm. all that fun stuff. And <laughs> something weird about what you just said, <laughs> little anime boys, you can change your clothes. Don't worry about <laughs> it. So it's available to purchase on January 11th, which was yesterday. Cool. Like you can buy oh. it in advance. Right, right. For fifteen dollars. Oh. Do, do you know anyone who still plays this game? I don't know anyone. Yeah, I've, um, that has played this game. I was just say. I mean, I don't know like a lot of people who switch. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's At true. least IRL. You know yeah. what I'm saying. Have you guys played this game? I've ever? never no. played this game. Wait, I went. Yeah, I played it once. Yeah, I did too. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, same. It, yeah, if exactly, you like Pokemon yeah. and Tekken, you it was, you're yeah, It was okay. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, yeah, it was like a very like like cheesier version of Tekken. Yeah, right? like, that's exactly what it is. Or like a really like tiny Tenkaichi. Mm-hmm. Charlie is an arena yeah. fighter. It's mm-hmm. cool though. I guess if you like Pokemon, it's fun. Yeah, I mean, uh, I guess it's something I would play occasionally if I was bored. Not really something I would get into though. I just want to see like the end goal behind it. Right? Yeah. Like, I mean, I if I like, I had this when I was like twelve, it'd be yeah, like, it would have been awesome. Game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember it fondly. <laughs> yeah, like, it's great. Mm-hmm. But like, I don't care now. Yep. It Who's looks it? pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, next up. We had new details on Kirby Star Allies, yep. which I must say looks fantastic. It does look great. So they featured uh, two new abilities, including Artist, <laughs> shout out to uh, Kirby 64, mm-hmm. and Spider. Spider Is that Kirby? New or? Spider Kirby. Is that two, new? two new abilities. Yeah. Huh. So uh, the new Artist ability lets Kirby unleash his creativity. Showed him in the thing making a little DDD sprite, and it like, came down and killed some people. <laughs> And the new off. spider ability lets him ensnare enemies in webs. I am not reading a press release. And then lay <laughs> eggs in their esophagus. <laughs> so, uh, much like Kirby 64, the uh-huh. game lets you mix match 
to create friend abilities. That's awesome. So, for example, you can create a zap yo-yo ability. Oh, man. Like an so, attack. Yeah, that you know? sounds like something I would use. Um, icicle lance. So, like the little spikes in ice. Mm-hmm. Um, you can do a friend throw. You can you can like throw your dude and he's like Just throw your friend and yeah yeah add another dude Fuck yeah. people, <laughs> and then friend train <laughs> you, you have like a conductor hat and like there's four you guys you're like choo choo and you like plow through people <laughs> yep mm. <laughs> so uh, if you're wondering how you get all these friends yeah Kirby can hurl. New friend hearts at enemies to win them over with love and add them to his party. Mm, mm. This is ridiculous. So Kirby. Um, friend this includes four-player co-op and releases March 16th. That's cool. I must say, mm-hmm. this is this is strange because Kirby, because that's basically the box art. What yeah. you're seeing, he's not angry. It's true. He's not. He's angry very happy. Kirby, Kirby is no more. He's happy. He's yeah. changed. He's content. He is. Very Nintendo of America Kirby. is no longer. Uh, obsessed with making him angry <laughs> to, we'll to appeal to a wider audience because yeah. people love Kirby. Yeah. So. My uh, my question: mm-hmm. Can you combine? Since you can combine powers, the friend train power, can you combine with like electricity? I think no, like the no, electric. No, no, I think train? like friend train is just like four people, it, yeah, four, it's its own four powers in one. So yeah, oh, okay. it's not like friend train <laughs> plus like. What's turbo the tax microphone and there's four bands. Is that like a Gears of War joke with the train? You played it with Anthony. Isn't oh yeah. Like a... uh, yeah. What, what's the joke? I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> I played that in like 2008. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> yeah. funny. All aboard the <laughs> something. I don't know. I just thought of that. Anyway, go on. Okay. Only thing I remember about Gears of War is the friggin. Uh, Can't remember. It's like Maria. Is that the girl's it's name? Who's like, no, 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 Maria. Maria. No, it's like the 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 black dude's trying to find his wife, and like she's like a skeleton. <laughs> they, that's what that's what he finds out. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and then the developer the fact check the coal train. The coal train. Right, yeah. The coal train. Yeah, yeah that because the guy's name is Cole. <laughs> terrible. Just terrible. terrible. <laughs> Go play Lawbreakers. There's like four people playing it. <laughs> terrible. Just like Pokin. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, probably sold. Yeah. Very well. Yeah. Better than the Wii U version. Probably, probably. sold. That's not okay. saying much. Next up. Yeah. A little, a little, it had a little note. Said Dragon Quest Builders demo is available. Oh, yeah. If, you, mm-hmm. if, that's, if you're into that, it's on the Nintendo eShop on the Switch. Go play it. If you like Minecraft and Dragon Quest, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Kind of a weird combination, yeah. but, you know, whatever. Dragon, Qu- Dragon Quest feels like a franchise that has, like, its hand on almost like everything that's very true in some way yeah you're right needs a fighting game i'm surprised doesn't have one (laughs) in due time yeah one day um so next up we had hyrule warriors definitive edition yep announced for switch i didn't i did not see this coming and i don't know why i didn't because this is like this made sense yeah all this makes sense (laughs) because there was a wii version (laughs) and then a 3ds version which Mm -hmm. had more content yep and it only makes sense to combine the two and mm-hmm. put them on Switch. Yeah, yeah this there, is the only edition I would, yeah. you know, yeah. play at this point. Um, I wonder how Wait, the... you don't you don't you don't like when you played <laughs> when we played on the gamepad and it ran at like twenty six frames per second <laughs> and four eighty p. Did you use? The I pad? think I did. Yeah, I think you did. I was fine. I was yeah, like, okay, oh, oh. it was great. I was like, oh, this sucks. Yeah, <laughs> that was awful. There's Yo, a... playing as Ganon though, super satisfying. Yeah. There's a running theme to this uh this direct. What, ports? Yes. <laughs> it's like, hey. That's why it's a mini. Did you own a Wii U? Well, now all those games are on Switch. What's Wii- a Wii U? <laughs> exactly. We never heard of it. Here's this yeah. new game. <laughs> so, uh, it includes every map, character, mission, DLC from the Wii U and 3DS version. Mm-hmm. It's 1080p on TV. Um, it's two-player multiplayer with shared Joy-Con. Cool. Hopefully that doesn't run at, like, six frames per second. Hopefully not. Um, I assume not. I hope not. <laughs> uh, includes Link and Zelda costumes from Breath of the Wild, which you see in the picture. It's yeah. Cool. That's pretty cool. At least yeah. they added a little, a little Zelda's little thing. looked a little mm-hmm. weird. I don't know if you noticed it. Maybe it's just like the footage I saw or something. She looked kind of like like um, someone just straight up modded her. <laughs> it did look a little jaggy. Yeah, it looked a little weird. weird. Um, didn't help that she does like her normal animations. So yeah. I don't know. It's strange. Anyway, um, is releasing spring 2018. Cool. Ayo. Gotta fill those gaps. Yeah, man. You know? Especially, like, why, why wouldn't they? Yeah. 
This, this is a very smart move on Nintendo's part. It's a part. good game. It's probably the best Warriors game out there yeah. in terms of like content and variety. Mm-hmm. That's saying something for a Warriors game. Yeah. Um, what was I gonna say? What else? I forgot what I was gonna say. Uh, it was related to Iron Warriors. Um, I guess like I I saw a picture and like there's only like like eight like Wii U first party games mm-hmm. that either don't have a sequel or like a port to the yeah. Switch. Mm-hmm. And I think uh, they're just gonna keep plucking away yeah. everything on the Wii U. They're gonna put on the Switch. Yeah, this is that's, that's what's gonna happen. And that's totally why, awesome. I, yeah. Why wouldn't they? Yeah. You know, it'd be great. I would love to see like a new Mario Maker. On I, 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 That'd be awesome. Wait for E3 predictions. Oh, it's Mario <laughs> Maker Two yeah. with slopes. That's my with that's slopes. one of my prediction. <laughs> Listen, man. They, if they if they make a sequel, it has to have slopes. Yeah, they didn't have slopes. It's true. Huh, I guess they didn't. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I didn't even think of that. That's have slopes. Hmm, that's a weird thing to be missing. Yeah. I blame the original Super Mario Brothers. No, it's all that, it's all that's fault. Yeah, probably. Boop, 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 boop. Hey, they can you know make a yeah, slope. Make a slope. Yeah, just make, make a slope. A slope. Yeah. <laughs> The, the game needs slopes. <laughs> they didn't, I didn't need slopes. I, right. I bought it. I thought it was cool, but I was mm-hmm. like, this needs slopes. You're right. That's You're my right. criticism. Yeah. All That's right. it. 10 out of 10. It's all good. Speaking of 10 out of 10, mm-hmm. I'm excited for Mario this. Tennis Aces yes. announced. New Mario Tennis. So, if, yeah. we, if we roll back mm-hmm. to uh, the Wii U, mm-hmm. they had uh, Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. Yep. And it was like one court. I heard like it was, six characters. Yeah, I heard it was very bad. Like yeah. two modes. Mm-hmm. It, it 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 was sent out to die. Yeah. yeah, really. And it was like the worst. I wonder why they did that. That's really weird for a Mario game. Because like I don't know, they had an install base of like three million units. That's true. I guess, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Mario steps onto the court in classy tennis garb mm-hmm. for intense rallies against a variety of characters in full blown tennis battles. New wrinkles. In tennis gameplay, will challenge your ability to read an opponent's position and stroke to determine which shot will give you the advantage. I'm not sure what that means. I don't think that's the right. <laughs> I don't think that's like a Listen, proper word. This is from the press release. They know what they're talking about. Wrinkles. This is wrinkles. PR, right? New yeah. crow's feet. <laughs> dude, look, look at Waluigi's hair. Well, oh, dude. dude! Look at it. Look at that. It's flowing. Gorgeous, flowing <laughs> boy. Why doesn't his hair? Does he hair, dye his hair? Because it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't match his mustache. <laughs> um. Maybe it's the light from the top. I, I don't. I mean, we've never have we seen Waluigi. I, I mean, we must feel like he had black sideburns, but I I guess I was wrong. I don't, I, I don't know if we've ever seen his hair before this. I mean, Mario's hair is a different color from yeah, his mustache. Yeah, that's and his true. Hair, that's so true. I assume that's true. That's fair. Are they else, born that way? It's so like yeah. suave. Are they, though. Are they related? <laughs> it is pretty suave. Does that mean they're related? Is that? I don't know. And look at that t- that manager toad in the back. Yeah. Reminds me of WWE, like standing outside the ring. <laughs> Go on. I appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. I appreciate the toad. So, um this game has the first has it the first story mode since Mario Tennis game on the Game Boy Advance, offering an uh, offering a new flavor of tennis gameplay with a variety of mission and boss cool. battles. Cool. So Camelot is known for making like RPG uh Mario sports games. Oh, huh. like the Mario Golf games on yep. like the Game Boy and yeah, blah, blah, that's blah. awesome. So yeah, this looks Pretty good. <clears throat> Dark Souls of it does. Tennis. Yeah. <laughs> it's Dark Souls of Tennis. That's yeah. cool. So here are some confirmed characters. Yeah. Mario. Wow. Cool. Wow. Luigi. Ooh. Ooh. Luigi Mario. Wario. Oh. And wow. returning <gasps> from the game he originated in. Uh-huh. Yep. Wow, Luigi. Yeah. Number one. And Waluigi as a boss, one. Petey Piranha. Petey yep. Piranha. Saw that. Nice. Yep. All right. Top pips for... <laughs> Who do you think is going to be released in uh, Mario Aces? Peach. Pac-Man. <laughs> I think Pauline's going to be in it. All right. Oh, that'd be cool. Because she's like, I'm an Odyssey. I'm going to be in everything. Kind of yeah. like how uh, Rosalina was like, I'm in Galaxy. Oh, now yeah. I'm in everything. Probably yeah. cool Rosalina was in this game. Oh, she's definitely yeah. She's going to have like, a cute little outfit. Mm. Pauline, I can see that, though. Mm. Yeah. Rule 34. <laughs> Just go on, go. Definitely. There's going to be like Boos <laughs> and Bowsers and... Yeah. Koopas, Koopas and all them. It better be. There's going to be a lot of characters. Yeah. Or six. Late in the <laughs> or six. So this is releasing spring 2018. Mm-hmm. I just hope they make a, a, a Mario baseball after this. Or like Ooh. or like people want strikers. Want yeah. another strikers. Oh, yeah. maybe, maybe they'll make another Another strikers. golf. Did you have strikers yeah. played? No. I, I played it somewhere. I don't recall. It was fun. It was really good. I don't even like soccer. I don't even uh, know how to play soccer. <laughs> 
You don't have to know how to play soccer. Yeah, I just you just kick the ball. Yeah. Everyone's like angry. Huh? Everyone's like angry and uh like the strikers. Oh why? Yeah. Also Mario Tennis. <laughs> like they're competitive. Uh, yeah, the yeah. mushroom kingdom takes yeah. their sports very seriously. Yeah, like apparently. Mario sees like a dragon, he's like, Yahoo! And then uh-huh. he's like on the court, he's like, fuck off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <gonna bagel>. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Uh-huh. We had an announcement of Ease 8. La Crosma of Donna. Donna coming to Switch this summer. That's I originally <laughs> I originally had like a little like little factoids about the game. Because uh-huh. I was like, oh, this is being announced for the Switch. Right. Like, but I found out it released on like PS4 in 2016. Jeez. So like, then I erased it. I was like, this is wasting my time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I Because it already, already came out before. It it's, is, it's a JRPG. Yeah. yeah. It's a JRPG. It's all you need to know. It's stuck on an island and it's like slight base building. Yep. So, so mm-hmm. have fun. There's been seven of them before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> How many times you get lost on an island, kid? A lot. Huh. At least six. At least six mm-hmm. times. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Super Mario Odyssey getting a free update. Hopefully one of several, or maybe it gets a paid update eventually. What's in the update? I'm glad you asked. Yeah. A new mini game mm-hmm. will be available after beating the game. Luigi's Balloon World. Mm. Luigi's Balloon World? What's that? You're just asking <laughs> all the right questions. <laughs> so, there's two modes. Hide it mode. Has players have a certain amount of time to hide a balloon in the given world. And then oh. find it mode has players ha- players having the same amount of time to locate balloons hidden by other players from around the world oh that's cool it's 30 Play- seconds oh. up kid <laughs> players can move up the rank <laughs> players can move up the rankings by finding hidden balloons and becoming expert hiders yo competitive balloon hide and this is uh, this is played using online data damn what data oh it's online rankings <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, do they have ranks? It's like ranked yeah. balloon find. Competitive. <laughs> yeah. Yo, this game was, looks really fun. This is going to be yeah. the next eSport. <laughs> Dude, I, I don't know. I, like, when I saw this, I was like, wow, this is like super original Yeah, like for, for a yeah. game. Yeah. But it's always cool to see new multiplayer <laughs> modes in, in games that and, and, are like death and, match. It yeah. makes sense in this like sandbox yeah, like, that it definitely platform. Does. Uh, I saw a lot of people like, oh, why isn't Luigi playable? I think mm-hmm. there will be paid DLC where mm-hmm. Luigi is played. Yeah, I do. yeah, probably, probably it's in due time. Separate little mm-hmm. adventure. Yeah, yeah. I like, uh, I like, I like the balloons. Dude, everything's so colorful. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, it but, is. But um, I think it's gonna be very interesting to see how people cheese this mode. Oh yeah, and like break it entirely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I, I can't. Nintendo's probably gonna add this like a little fun thing. They're probably not gonna like monitor it. Mm-hmm. Like they're not, they're not gonna like patch balloon. No, this is the next like... esport, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> so there's gonna be a way to just like completely break this mini game, probably. Yep. And we'll find a way. Yeah. Yep. But that's not all, boys. Mm-hmm. We're getting new outfits, <gasps> including Bob. the sunshine shades. Oh my god! An outfit. <laughs> I cannot confirm or deny that uh-huh. uh, the the it'll be like a tinted filter. Mm-hmm. Probably not. He looks so chill. Probably not. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it looks like he just like came out of vacation <laughs> and he's just yeah. He came out of Isle Delfino, <laughs> a <laughs> shitty ass Mario game. <laughs> I liked Sunshine. <laughs> you can like When's shitty the last games? time you played it? You can like came out? shitty exactly. games. <laughs> Get your rose tinted goggles off. <laughs> You can't even long jump in that fucking I game. I liked it. That, that means it already <laughs> sucks. Anyways, so you're getting the sunshine shades and outfit. You're getting the musician hat and outfit and the night helmet and armor. Huh. Also, there's going to be uh, new snapshot mode filters, including neon and coin. <laughs> coin filter? Yeah. Yeah, for right. mad money. Coin. Sure. Mm-hmm. And it will be available in February next cool. month. Cool. Mm-hmm. Lit. Free stuff's nice. Free shit. Mm-hmm. I'm down. You know what's not free? What? Girls. Uh, <laughs> next pitch. Next pitch. Next pitch. Not in some countries. So we had SNK Heroines Tag mm-hmm. Team Frenzy announced for Switch <clears throat> and PlayStation 4. Mm-hmm. So play as iconic heroes from SNK's history in a new uh, two-on-two tag team fighting game. Players can activate a variety of special moves with the press of a button and make these... Make use of special items to turn the tide of battle. It's yep. like one hit. 
There's like, like one button combos, th- yeah. blah, blah, blah. There's like smash type yeah. items in it, yeah. Um, includes dream finish ultra special moves. <laughs> oh my god. And fighter <laughs> customization as like appearance wise. Yeah. Um, and releasing 20, uh, summer 2018. And one of the competitors will be Yuri Sack. Uh, shit. Uh, <laughs> so- uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm. I'm going to say Sakazaki. Okay. From Arcade Archives Neo Geo Art of Fighting 2. Yep. Which launches today in Nintendo eShop. Cool. By so, today, I mean yesterday. The 11th. <laughs> all right. This is weird. So this is just like a new fighting game out of nowhere. Yeah, like, like, no one mentioned this at all. Anybody? I don't know if it was just Bunch me. of girls. Um, I don't know if I missed something, but in like the trailer for it, mm-hmm. um, they were like showing the fight and like you to do the whatever you said. Dream, dream, finish, dream, dream, dream Ultra dream. Super. Like, did something and, yeah, and like screen nothing, white and yeah. it was done. Yeah. I was yeah. like, There was like no animation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm glad I'll, it wasn't I'll just very me. Yeah, I was yeah, just I was like, like, I'm like, wait, did I like? Hold did they on. cut? I like back, and I was just like, <laughs> yeah. wow, what a great finisher! It's just like nothing happened. It's like cool. Yeah, glad this is a competitor of DBZ fighters. I don't know anything about SNK. I don't really either. Me either. It's like there are multiple games. Yeah, yeah. So, like, like King of Fighters. It's SNK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I've never There's played like a couple of others. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I don't. This is just a strange thing to just come out of nowhere. Uh, I I think this is like the second game that allows for um character like appearance customization yeah the, the other one being injustice 2 so fair, well soul was... caliber oh Duh. Right. Soul Calibur. Mm-hmm. could you do that with everyone though yeah yeah that's cool to an extent i hope that like becomes like more of a modern trend Me in too. fighting games because it'd be really cool just to customize your character for online mm-hmm. stuff hear that fighters just give us costumes that's all i want yeah seriously i want costumes for fighters. they're so not bad. gonna i know but, but I it's want so it. easy <laughs> well i gotta create a whole new model the, blah, blah, they're blah, liars blah, blah, blah. they're liars yeah, they're you lies. don't have to do that <laughs> They do it in fighting games all the time. Yeah, seriously. All but the they time. create new models and they don't want to do that. <laughs> They'll change the hitboxes. No, they won't. Nope. Nope. <laughs> ah, whatever. Great game. Go. Yep. So, um, Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle is getting yep. Donkey Kong DLC. Cool. cool. Um, mm-hmm. Donkey Kong is headed to the game as a playable character, complete with an exclusive new storyline and world. Cool. To explore, uh, the DLC pack will release in spring 2018. Will be available to purchase individually or as part of the season pass or gold edition of the game. Um, I love my Mario XCOM. Yeah, glad to get new characters. Uh, and since Grant Coker, Grant Grant Coker, I'm saying Kirk, 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 Kirk Cope. Cope. <laughs> I'm saying like it backwards. <laughs> Anyways, it's been a long day. Uh. Since, like, he did, like, the music for Donkey Kong 64. Yeah. It's cool that he's doing Donkey Kong related music again. Yeah, that is he's awesome. He's doing a lot of stuff now. I'm, like, Grant, not surprised to see him anymore. He's, yeah. like, Kirk Cope. <laughs> he's, like, the that composer. Correct? For, Cap- yeah. Kirk, okay. Yeah. yeah. Captain Kirk Grant. <laughs> <laughs> like, any, pretty much any cartoony game he's doing music for these days. Hmm. Which is cool. Good yeah. for him. Good for him. Also, Donkey Kong sounded a little weird. I didn't hear him. He was like, who? Oh, ha! I was like, who is this <laughs> imposter? <laughs> it's me, Donkey Kong. <laughs> so, remember Payday 2? Yeah. Oh, well, man. it's still coming on Switch, and it's getting okay. timed exclusive DLC for all you... Timed exclusive? Wait, what was it? Yeah. It's not exclusive. It's already oh, on well, PC. Maybe it's like new for that. Like, it's new stuff, and then it'll oh, come yeah. for PC. Oh, okay, I guess, yeah. yeah. It's been out for like... Long time. Well, no, this particular DLC is yeah, yeah. apparently in a time yes. exclusive so, deal. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's what I said. yeah, probably for like two days. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, debuting in the Nintendo Switch version of the game, a new playable character named Joy will be introduced. Joy is a Japanese computer whiz who wears a custom LED light mask that Ooh. changes her appearance as she sees fit. Whoa, oh, that's cool. Releasing on Fe- the game releases on February twenty seventh. Awesome. I've always wanted to pay payday. I just haven't had the friends to play same, with. Same, same. <laughs> that game's always on sale, too, for like here's two bucks or yep. free, <laughs> like, you know? Yeah. Uh, well, I always wanted to rob the bank with friends. You get payday, I'll get payday. You liar. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, you get play- payday, I'll get it, I'll never play it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See, isn't that a better compromise? I like that, you know? That's fair. I will pay that Switch tax. Yeah. So, Faye. Remember that Fae yeah. game? You Fae. Remember uh, that EA leak that was like, oh, and it talked about that, that game called Fae. Mm. Also, 
a game like the Two Brothers, not two no brothers. no, no yeah. the Two Convict guys. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And it was like a leaked document. It was like, oh, a Nintendo Direct will happen in January, and You're that's right, how yeah. everyone knows there's yes. gonna be one in January. Yeah. So that part on that, uh, it was like, oh, we're gonna re- talk about the release date of Faye mm-hmm. in this Nintendo Direct, and we got one. Mm. It's releasing digitally on February 16th. I originally had details about the game, but I realized it got announced like two years ago. So no. I was like, delete. <laughs> Likewise with the next game, uh-huh. Celeste is releasing digitally on January 25th. That doesn't sound familiar. Yeah, I was going to say, what is Celeste? So, did you watch Nintendo Direct? Huh? Did you watch a lot in the it, Direct? Huh? There's a lot in the Direct. Did you <laughs> memorize? <laughs> did you recognize your favorite game, Celeste? <laughs> yeah. That's I don't not know, it was like some like stuck. pixel, like... Well, it was like some like <laughs> pixel game. I don't know. That was the only pixel game in the stupid direct. <laughs> it looked like a game that like came out with like every other pixel like, art game like indie, and like yeah, yeah. Fres and whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. whatever. All right. That's why I don't yeah, remember yeah. it. Yeah. Care. <laughs> so, something I care about: Donkey Kong Country cool. Tropical Freeze is coming to Switch. Yeah. Cool. Another Wii U game on Switch. Yeah. Cool. I own this game. Mm-hmm. But guess what? Never played it. I haven't played it. <laughs> so this is much like Bayonetta 2. Uh-huh. I don't know if I like, I should buy it again. Don't, don't buy it again. <laughs> you never Funky played it. Kong. <laughs> <laughs> Funky Kong. Funky <laughs> Kong. So, so um, this includes all the fun and challenge of the original game, plus a beginner-friendly mode that lets you play as groovy, surfing, simian, Funky Kong. He looks so OP. He is. That's the point. He's he, like... He, 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 He's every character in one. Yeah, and more, because you yeah. like, can step on spikes with his board, or stop. Yeah. Well, like... Uh, Couldn't someone do that? Uh, Cranky Kong's, like, Kane could do, oh, like, okay. the, the, the DuckTales thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. Pogo. Yeah. So he's just, like, super easy mode. Yeah. Cool. Funky, um, mode funky well. can double jump, hover, perform infinite rolls, and in underwater cork- corkscrews. Thanks to his sturdy soft board... Surfboard. Surfboard. That's a board. Even spikes can't slow him down. Damn. Damn. Uh, this includes two player co op with each player using one Joy Con. Mm, cool. Releases May 4th, 2018. Mm. This is a great game for Switch only huh? for, because of the multiplayer aspect, right? Mm-hmm. It is one of those examples where you can, like, you're like with somebody like, with a friend of yours like waiting for something or whatever maybe at a con or something yeah, and, yeah. Like, just, you know, break it out and, and start playing and it's a fun game you just jump in and jump out to mm-hmm. so good on I agree yeah, that's awesome next and the last story of the direct Dark Souls yes remastered so it's coming high. to Switch and PS4 Xbox One and PC May 25th 2018 I can't wait this includes yeah Wait. Yeah. The Artorius of mm-hmm. the Abyss mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. DLC. Did uh-huh. I butcher that? Artorius. Kazintite. <laughs> as well as improved frame rate and resolution from the original game. Cool. On Switch, it is 1080p, but 30 frames per second like the original game. Mm-hmm. Um, When it's on TV mode, docked. Kazintite. <laughs> it's 40 bucks. Cool. It's not cool. bad. Here's some PS4 version details. Mm-hmm. Uh, 4K HDR support for PS4 Pro, 60 frames per second. Um, online, six players instead of one, uh, one through four, and has dedicated servers. Nice, cool, awesome. Dude, why are you why are you psyched about this? I'm psyched about this. I like Dark Souls. <laughs> yeah, well, I do like Dark Souls. Steve's been out for like ten years. But I think that they're going to end up adding more stuff to this game. No. Considering it's like it's a remaster that's taken quite a while, I think they're gonna up the graphics like pretty majorly of this game. Which I mean, we didn't one... see any footage of it. I know, and it comes out in like comes out in May. I think it's... a couple months. I think yeah. it's just a port. <laughs> yeah, it could be a my, port, in my opinion. But I think Dark Souls already has a port to on PC Not anyway. Sorry. Yeah, they do. I have it. But they this do. one's also coming to PC, which is strange. Oh, that's strange. Well, it's with all the DLC, right? So yeah, it's, like, yeah, it's remastered. But that's why I'm thinking it's more than just a port. Nah, it's gonna be the same. I mean, I well, the, the Dark Souls PC port is like crappy. It's like Garbo. It's for being Garbo. Yeah. Um, so but, like, if, people modded it. To if, be the, good. if this port's like the Dark Souls three port, then I'm I'm down. Yeah. I can I'm play sure a less broken game. Yeah, that's true. I mean, Dark Souls ages well enough yeah. in its own mechanics, so mm-hmm. whatever. 
Dark Souls, go play some more. It's your new Skyrim, people. Have yeah. fun. Yeah. I'll be streaming it a lot, probably. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the Nintendo Direct Mini. It's hey. pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Fun fact, oh, sorry. after every Nintendo Direct Mini, within mm-hmm. 25 days, an actual Nintendo Direct drops. Okay. Huh. So get back on the <laughs> hype train, baby. 25 were, days. I thought you were going to like drop some like Tumblr bait. Like, they say after every 25 days of a mini, a child dies. <laughs> something really <laughs> no. messed up. <laughs> Malaria comes back. Like, well, that's something it. weird. Chicken box. <laughs> yeah, chicken, the shingles. <laughs> the tuba. <laughs> uh, but, oh, that's cool. So, um... Yeah, I was happy with this mini. Um, I don't. I don't think there's really any way to be disappointed by it because they were like, "Yeah, it's a well, mini." People are Have like, fun. "We're Smash." It's, it's like, a, it's a mini. listen, if yeah. Smash that was, was in later. this direct, none of the other games in this would have mattered. That's it's, true. Yeah, that's true. seriously. That Smash will definitely come to Switch. I, I saw the analogy of if someone gave you a million dollars today and a thousand dollars tomorrow, a thousand dollars won't matter. But if you get a thousand dollars today, yeah. And then a million dollars in like a week, you're gonna be like, wow. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> Smash Brothers. A million dollars. A million dollars. <laughs> Switch that. Like, all right. Because, like, people think, like, Smash Brothers is gonna come out this year somehow. And I'm like, there's never been a Smash Brothers that was, like, announced and came out in the same oh, year. Oh, you mean, yeah. like, a, a, a new one? New year? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. No way. Yeah. I was like, are, you, are y'all dumb? <laughs> yeah, no way. Yeah. Maybe, like, Melee HD or something. Yeah, yeah. seriously. Yeah. If a new Smash comes out, it's going to be like towards the end of the Switch's life cycle. Or maybe that's, like that's my opinion. two and a half years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Minimum. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Minimum. Sakurai, yeah. give him a break, guys. He's he's still recovering, probably. <laughs> I know, for real. He's, he's currently getting a cybernetic hand as uh-huh. we speak, so let the guy rest. Oh, maybe maybe he'll give up the franchise. That would, honestly, dun, dun. I mean... I mean if, maybe he's like, fuck this shit, dude. The pressure alone is... Uh-huh. It's like, I just want to make, like, Kid Icarus games. Oh. I like Kirby, guys. Remember him? The <laughs> I, cute he games. made him. He made Kirby. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Right. That's what she, I want to go back. Well, then he's like, I don't like to make sequels. No, that's way that's that's a different developer. Never mind. <laughs> he just did other stuff. Kid Icarus. I also, no, no. He all, he's also like that. He doesn't like to he make like sequels, sequels. But then, like, they wow. keep making him make Smash Brothers games. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> poor guy. Poor, yeah, poor guy. Poor guy. Poor so, fuck. Switch. Has officially outsold the Wii U lifetime sales this week in Japan, oh God, according to Famitsu sales data. So, Switch is at three million, uh, three point four million. Mm-hmm. Just to sum it up, there's like exact numbers, but I don't feel like saying. Yeah, yeah. But the, and the Wii U is at three point three. Damn. So Switch needed uh, a little about ten months to achieve what the Wii U did in like six years. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> did not take long at all. <laughs> no. So uh, during the whole during its whole lifetime, Wii U had four one million sellers: Splatoon, Mario Kart 8, New Super Mario Brothers U, and Super Mario Maker. Mm-hmm. And the Switch has three one million sellers in ten months: Splatoon 2, Super Mario Odyssey, and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Not Zelda. Not not uh, not Zelda, and not uh, Smash for the other one. Either. That's weird. Whoa! I'm yeah, very surprised. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hey. Be- oh, dude. Splatoon is so popular in Japan. It's is like it stupid. really? It's stupid. <laughs> I didn't really? Know. I didn't know that. I guess that's why. And I'll get. I'll get to more Splatoon do, stuff. Do you think Zelda was bigger here than in Japan? I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. That's interesting. It's such a well. It's such a Western RPG. Yeah. More than a J- JRPG. Yeah. Sure. I, I'm sure people still love Zelda, but it's yeah. not as popular as mm. like I got you. Monster Hunter, oh, etc. No, that yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm not wrong. Monsuta <laughs> Hunter. <laughs> so, using Famitsu numbers, Splatoon 2 combined physical and digital has sold over two million copies, and this is the first home console game to sell over two million copies in Japan since Wii Party in 2010. What mm. the hell? <laughs> so people love the Wii Party. <laughs> is that the one that came with uh, the extra Wii remote? No, that was Wii Resort. Mm. No. Oh, that's that's the. Wait, no. Come on, wait. I can uh, tell you I, by looking I, at I the box. I don't know my Wii details. Because that's because if so, that's exactly why I bought the game too. Come on, let's find out. Do you, uh, you still own it? I do. Let's play. I don't. I don't, <laughs> sell, I don't trade in my games. That's right. No, home consoles I, I like, that don't mistake. sell in Japan. Huh? Home consoles like don't sell in Japan. Because everyone's busy. They're working. Everyone, they're traveling. They buy DSs, yeah. and portables. Yeah. Not PSPs, apparently. Huh. Yeah. This is not the game I'm thinking of. It's basically like. Uh, <laughs> It's basically just a board game. 
Oh, well. oh. yeah. We party. I'm thinking we play. Yeah, that, ca- that came oh. with the free Wii remote. Yeah, so I was like, I'll get was it. it um, Even the game sucked. Was it Skyward Sword that came with the? Uh, yes. The Motion Plus. Yep. Yeah, yeah. What a hunk of junk. Yep. Hey, I like that controller. I have to yeah. open it up and clean it because the uh, battery's corroded in it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Damn. Dollar store batteries, everyone. <laughs> so, on. fighters that... has dropped. Uh, well, Bandai Namco has dropped the. Final beta details. So we have the roster. I have the open beta and the closed beta roster as comparison. Mm-hmm. Thank you. They basically share. There's eleven characters in each. Yep. And they share. Uh, eleven minus. What's eleven minus four? Seven. Seven. Yeah. They they each share the same seven characters, but change uh, four of them. Okay. So, um, the clo- This is the open beta. So open beta has Goku, Vegeta, Krillin, Piccolo, Cell, Frieza, Android 18. And so, much like the closed beta. Mm-hmm. So, the closed beta had Gohan Youth. Yeah. Yep. And now we have, now the open beta has Gohan Adult. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Closed beta had Future Trunks. The open beta has Beerus. Um, closed beta had Majin Buu. Open beta has Kid Buu. And closed beta has Android 16. And the open beta has Nappa. Mm. So, those are the four interchanged characters. Yeah. I'm kind of sad they don't have Hit. Hito yeah. with his jazz. Yeah. Yeah. So we're missing Hit, Ginyu, um, the character Go Tanks. Before, Grow Tanks, and Goku Black. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Yamcha Tien. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I wish Tien. Me yeah. too. I want to play Tien so uh, bad. I don't, I don't really. I know everybody's like, Yamcha, because, you know, he's like full circle. Like, uh, mm-hmm. everyone loves him now and stuff. He's great. Yamcha's fine. Yeah. You know? Like, he's just a rushdown character, which isn't very interesting to me. But Tien mm-hmm. looks like. Cool. Like he yeah. has like his own thing going on. Uh, out of the people in this open beta, who are you most excited to play as? A don't go on. Oh no. Yeah. Me Beerus. too. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, Blade. Apparently, we're in the minority. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I- I'm excited to play Kid Boo. That's yeah. Pretty yeah, sweet. yeah. Dude, I'm man. If, I'm if so he's bad. as broken as he is in the yep, Tank HG3. Yep. I've seen some of the stuff I he can like do. Him. I've seen his combos. <laughs> he looks pretty good. I want. I want to play this so bad. I'm so excited. You just have to wait till tomorrow. Oh, the next day, actually. Yeah, it was a Sunday, Two days. right? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, like 3 a.m. Well, if you pre-ordered it yeah. digitally, oh, yeah. Yeah. That's you can true. play at I did at pre-order it physically. Me too. <laughs> I, I was like, as I was pre-ordering it, I was at the physical version, I'm like, Blake would be proud because I didn't go digital. I wish you went digital so you had an extra day to play. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd be working, so I'd, actually, no, I, I wouldn't be at... No- <laughs> Fuck you, Blake, I'm out. <laughs> digital. No. <laughs> Where'd you get it? Game's up. Well, you do Best Buy. No, GameStop. Oh, you did? Yeah. I, I think we did the same GameStop, too. The one that's the stop and shop. Yeah. Yeah. The go-to. <laughs> so you're there. The go-to. They were like, they were, the the seller was like, all right, we also, uh, uh, we also got some uh, new pop figures coming in. I'm like, okay. And he's like, here. And he like shows me like a black and white, like the, the photo of like, you can pre-order these Dragon Ball Z pop figures. I'm like, no thanks. And he's like, all right, well, they're here if you want them. <laughs> Just like, no, Leave me alone. Right. Yeah. Pop figures. Yep, pop so, figures. the stages in this beta. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Planet Namek, mm. World Tournament Arena, mm. West City, Volcano, Wasteland, Cell Games Arena, and Rocky Field Evening. Eight shell City. A lot of stages. I don't remember the ones in the it other beta. The, I, didn't, I didn't bother looking it up. The ones in the beta, I believe, are World Tournament, West City, I think Namek. Probably. I'm, I'm pretty sure Namek. Yeah, I don't remember. And uh, Wasteland. How do you even know? Oh, oh, I think so, dude. <laughs> See, I don't remember. Yeah. I think Rocky no. Field is the only one that's... I'm sorry. I'm just going off memory. I have no idea. I'm not <sighs> sure. I mean, that's pretty much most of the stages, at least that we've seen so far, yeah. besides like the tropical and, island. Uh, the Supreme Kai planet. Supreme Kai planet and um, space. Yeah. The Beerus fight. Mm-hmm. So, uh, the modes. Mm-hmm. World match. Battle tutorial, which is cool. Yeah. I mm-hmm. didn't expect them to put in a tutorial. Yeah. Um, rankings, replay channel, stamps, limited, limited set. set. <laughs> don't, don't fucking read it. <laughs> I'm not mirroring you. Uh, lobby, avatar, customization, and two dramatic scenes. Which two will they be, though? They won't be, like, new ones. They're just no, ones that yeah, yeah. we know about. It'll be Krillin blowing up and... Maybe, like, uh, the... The beers? No, the no, they don't. They don't have the uh, outer space. Uh, oh, you're oh right. yeah, you're right. Yeah. So maybe um. um uh, 
Oh, maybe. Uh, no, wait, no, they don't have a uh, Goku doing Go- Spirit Gohan. Box. Oh, no, they don't have Supreme yeah. Planet. Mm. Yeah. The... Wonder which one's gonna be. I was gonna say maybe uh, Yamcha dying, but he's not in it. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what? Hold on. It, it's oh, I know. It's gonna be eighteen kicking Vegeta and breaking his arm. <laughs> <laughs> if that's it, that's cool. that's dope. Well, that'd be a weird. Oh yeah, if, if she beat oh, him, maybe yeah. maybe like uh, they they treat Gohan as future Gohan, and like they like eighteen seventeen do the blast that killed future Gohan. That that could be. It. Oh I, yeah, I like maybe. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Otherwise, I, I don't fucking. We'll know. have to find out. Yeah, I we'll, wish, we'll um, find out. I wish, I wish Super Boo were in this team for one reason only, yeah. so we can get a dramatic scene of of Ultimate Gohan being like. Just being his I'm, ass. I'm gonna kill you. Like you know, like yeah, uh, that'd be awesome to see. But yeah, actually, I don't know what that would be. Um, maybe it's just Vegeta throwing Nappa in the sky and killing him. <laughs> and maybe, maybe, yeah, I was about to say why is it? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, maybe. So does the rankings mode mean ranked battles, or does no, that just mean you can look at people's ranks? It's probably just looking. It's at probably ranks. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which doesn't really matter too much since they're gonna get wiped before the yep. game comes uh-huh. out. <laughs> yep. So. The U.S. Eastern Time for the beta. Early access is January 13th, 3 a.m. Mm. Beta opens officially on January 14th at 3 a.m. And the beta closes for both on January 16th, 3 a.m. Get ready cool. for server crashes, baby. Uh, oh, yeah. Hope not. Big time. Big time. Love you, I, I just hope the, uh, if they, uh, mm. they let you face a computer like they did mm. in the other beta. I hope they don't do mm-hmm. what they did for the Xbox players in the the beta, where like it crashed all the time and like yeah, people barely got to play, and then they were just like, "It's over." Yeah, <laughs> that's rotten. Just uh, good luck competing with Maximilian on Twitch when you're streaming this. Listen, <laughs> uh-huh. that would, it would be an honor to get mollywopped by him. <laughs> mollywopped. Speaking of mollywopped, mm-hmm. not not him. Uh-huh. We're talking not yet. I'm so so, so Decidia. Final Fantasy NT. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I got Season more Pass <laughs> characters have been teased. Oh. Granted, I don't know who's on the base roster. Mm-hmm. So the following uh things I'm gonna talk about, mm-hmm. we we we're just playing the guessing game. Mm-hmm. Anyways, I'll get into that. So as previously announced, aka we didn't talk about it on the show. Yeah. Um the season pass will include six additional playable characters, each with a standard costume weapon, two uh co- cost eh. Two costume, color, variations, and two additional weapons for each of those six characters. Cool. Uh, the season pass itself will cost six, 4,000 yen. Uh, do, the, do, the, do the math. It's like 40 bucks. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, each character will, uh, can be purchased standalone for 800 yen. Eight dollars. Really? Yeah. So 100 yen is about a dollar. Okay. Mm-hmm. More or less. All right. So, uh, Square Enix... Uh, gave out hints on the six DLC characters. Ooh. This is like all these specific let's hints. Let's go. Let's do this. So, first DLC character, male. <gasps> it <could> and be... <laughs> uh, I assume uh, when it says, so it says male, new. I, I assume new to the Dissidia franchise. Okay. okay. Um, yeah. And it says in parentheses, from newer half of numbered Final Fantasy titles. From newer half <laughs> oh, of great. numbered Final Fantasy. <laughs> so it's in like... <laughs> Eight up or something. Yeah, seven or eight up, and one that's not already in the game. Yep. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the second character, Saws. male, new, from older half of numbered Final <laughs> Fantasy titles. Great, cool, that's awesome. it. That's all the so, details. female, new, uh-huh. from newer half of numbered Final Fantasy titles. Uh-huh. Male, new, from newer half of numbered Final <laughs> Fantasy titles. <laughs> This is this is the little curveball. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Female previously appeared in the Dissidia Final Fantasy series. Ooh. But from newer half of numbered Final Fantasy titles. And mm. finally, male new from newer half of numbered Final Fantasy titles. So I'm I was like, who's gonna be doing the guessing game for this one? Yeah. I'm predicting uh-huh. that the new the one they mentioned was in a Dissidia mm-hmm. character before, but in the newer ones, it's gonna be Yuna. From, okay. Uh, Final Fantasy X. Yep. She was a great character in the. She was, was she? In... She's not confirmed yet. No. no. Okay. She was in um City of Zero One Two, like the sequel one yeah. that came out. She she was cool. She like summoned different um like parts of uh summons to like attack and stuff, which is pretty cool. cool. Um, 
Yeah, who the hell knows of those other yeah. ones? There's three guys from the newer half, one guy from the lower <laughs> half, and one girl from the lower half. But that's so I'm stupid. sure there's like a 80 page like yeah. form thread of like Probably. people trying to guess theory crafting. Yeah. yeah, it could be anyone. <laughs> it could be. I'm trying to think of like main characters that aren't in Tacidia yet, but I don't really know. They're pretty much, it's a size. I don't know. That a side be. character, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Snow would probably. I think Snow is probably gonna be it. Yeah, maybe. Um, or another uh, fifteen character. That would make sense. Um, maybe. Um, what's his name? Uh, Gladio. No, the villain. Oh, uh, um. Oh, don't spoil. I don't actually don't spoil. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Go on. So let's get into the meat and potatoes Ooh. of this. All right. Detective Pikachu <laughs> is finally acknowledged it's as a real true. thing and is releasing worldwide March 23rd, 2018. It was so good. It was so good. I love good. the smell of my coffee. <laughs> it was so good. So here's here's the story, uh-huh. Detective Pikachu. Yep. Take the role of young Tim Goodman. Tim not, Goodman. not John Goodman, his <laughs> Tim son, Curry. Tim C- Goodman, and explore with his talkative partner, Pikachu, mm-hmm. in the action-adventure game, Detective Pikachu. Tim and this gruff, coffee-drinking Pikachu have teamed up to investigate the disappearance of Tim's father. Look for clues, talk to witnesses, and uncover the secrets of Rhyme City. Starring Ryan, Ryan Reynolds. St- well, in the movie, at least. Yeah. I don't think he's voicing it. <laughs> I don't think it was in the game, either. <laughs> um, why wasn't this announced yesterday? I don't know. I have no idea. What? This just made my uh my my day harder <laughs> by not just having this in the direct. Yeah, why wouldn't it? So if, you, if you're listening, just do you, do yourself a giant favor and just go to YouTube and just yeah. go to this this part of of the of the video here and just look at this picture of of Detective so Pikachu good. in the cover. Of it. <laughs> and look at that cocky grin Pikachu has on his face. He's like, "Yeah, I fucked her." Like, like yeah. something vulgar and. Awful. Dude, his voice in the trailer. Is this? Mm, 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 it's so good. Plays only in two D. Ah, oh, damn! <laughs> it like it reminds me at like if you played as Meowth from the anime. Mm. He has a very similar voice. It looks it's so, really good. Like it looks great. I actually really want it. Yeah, because I just want to see the absurdity of this it, game. It actually looked fun. Like it, like all the cutscenes of him just being like, "Oh, what are you doing?" Yeah, like playing another Pokemon. It was so good. I'm actually I'm actually really looking forward to it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it's going to do well. <laughs> and, uh, what was I going to say? I like in the trailer where it's like the, the Tim, whatever, the dude, he's like, oh, come on, P- uh, Pikachu, and it's regular Pikachu. Mm-hmm. And he's like, wait a minute, you're not Pikachu. <laughs> and then like Detective Pikachu just comes in with, with a stupid hat and <laughs> <Yeah>. outfit. <laughs> and he's like, what? He's like, I am walking here. <laughs> That's not all with yeah. this announcement, this mm-hmm. Star studded, s- stranded announcement. <laughs> what? Stranded? Uh, Death stranding? <laughs> if you go to the next picture, a new Detective Pikachu amiibo is oh releasing as well. And it's extra large <laughs> in comparison <laughs> to other amiibo. I want it. <laughs> it's $30. Uh, it's I don't thir- want it's it. $30. It's $30. What? what? <laughs> I will be purchasing six. <laughs> What's with this, like... Hell, Third Reich salute pose. Going He's on. angry. <laughs> I'm I'm ready to buy like twelve of them. I'm ready. It looks so funny. I like how the base is brown instead of black. Um, there's actually like a map. If you look at the, like the base, not like the bottom, but like the, the top, top where like his, his, his feet are. Map. It's like a map. Oh, that's, that's cool. cool. Yeah. Um, like not like a map to like Atlantis or something, but like just yeah, like yeah. a map. Um. <laughs> So this amiibo features a sleuthing Pikachu that's larger than the standard amiibo, and when used with your game, it can unlock short videos that may contain helpful hints for your investigation. I like mm. how they're not sure. It may contain. It, it might. <laughs> it might help. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> might be just like him waking up. And he's like, uh, it's like his day. Might be know? nothing. Yeah. Might have wasted thirty dollars. <laughs> so <laughs> most likely. <laughs> but that's not all, guys. All right. What that's else? not all. In addition. A new 2DS XL Ooh. Pikachu edition, hey. previously announced for other territories, is coming to North America. I, I thought the box on the left was the DS. I was like, wait a second. It looks <laughs> really <is> square. <laughs> <laughs> this release is January 26th. Um, the, the pricing is set at $160. It's 
it's so cheap. It's well, it, nice. Yeah, no, that's not bad at all, actually. I like it. Well, I won't get it, but I like it. Yeah. yeah, same. It feels like one of those items I should get just because it's probably going to be a collector's item and sell for like it's 600 gonna like, bucks later. Yeah, it's going to like triple in price in like three months. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now here's the question. Are y'all getting Detective Pikachu March 23rd, 2018? I probably won't get it on release, or maybe I will, depending on how I feel, but I mm. think I really want to get this game. Maybe I'll I borrow do too. it from someone. Yeah, it, it legitimately does look fun, yeah. but I'll have to see what it plays like. I have to see the gameplay. I feel like it's going to be what I wanted. Um, Ace, Ace Attorney. Attorney. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. exactly what I think this game is going to be to me. It's something I actually wanted from it. So Yeah, I mean, it looks fun. And there's also quick time events. Oh no! <laughs> um, bring them back oh, if you look at the trailer, it's like press A yeah, yeah. to like not get ran over by a bus. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't like. I don't. I'm not expecting a lot like from the gameplay of this game. So I like some puzzle solving yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. Well, I just want the absurdity. Yeah. yeah. I want to see like what is the conflict that Detective Pikachu <laughs> is going to go. There's through. a mystery. What is his story arc, man? <laughs> is he going to change by the end of this story? Is he going to learn to to Except having a partner. He's going to learn to love. He's going to learn to love. <laughs> because I love you. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Please don't. I want to know the, the story of Tim Tim Curry or Tim whatever Schaefer. his name is. I don't... Tim, Tim Carey. What is... Jim Carey. Come on. Jim Carey? <laughs> Smoking! <laughs> okay, moment of silence, everybody. This coffee smells so good! This coffee smells so good! <laughs> That's Detective Pikachu. You did a 10 hour loop of that, please. <laughs> Someone do your homework. <laughs> Stop, you smell so good. We're cool. Yeah. Awesome. I'm ready cool. for Detective Pikachu. Nintendo. So, PlayStation 4. Mm-hmm. We got some little, little, little newsy bits yep. about sales related things because it's, it's, you know, it's hard to find some yeah. news stories sometimes. So I just put <laughs> uninteresting sales data in here. <laughs> All right, so, sure. PlayStation 4 sells 5.9 million units worldwide during the uh, 2017 holiday season. Wow. Damn. Yeah, that's Good not bad at all. Wow. PS4 is now cumulatively sold through more than 73.6 million units oh globally God. as of December 31st, 2017. Holy crap. That's awesome. Good that, for yeah, that, that's man. ridiculous. Now, did you, they just need some, you know, more games. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I love my PS4, though. Like, I mean, yeah. No, it's my yeah. media system, too. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it does everything for me. It's definitely the console I play the most. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mine's collecting <laughs> dust under my amiibo. <laughs> Anyways, true. so we have some more details on the official Nintendo Power podcast, mm-hmm. a.k.a. our rivals. Yep. Yeah. So staffers at Nintendo America began to discuss the idea of a podcast in summer 2016. Steve Please. Norman who my bro <laughs> what uh what? so steve norman who leads the way on social media for nintendo uh felt that it should feature the nintendo power name uh currently the plan is to have one episode done each month throw uh though things can ramp up depending on demand everything is still a work in progress the current focus is offering a look inside nintendo of america hmm. guests from nintendo of europe and the company's headquarters in japan will also appear as the team awaits on uh, feedback more sections from the original magazine could return such as warp zone quiz which is featured on the first episode oh yeah. cool um unfortunately the magazine itself won't return uh, podcast host chris slate and former editor-in-chief of the magazine said it's a challenging industry to enter these days oh yeah, which yeah makes yeah. sense Easily. i i imagine print is dying or isn't doing too too hot themselves <laughs> yeah that's why uh they're like please <laughs> take take the magazines for free if you buy a, a GameStop yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. power-up thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's definitely a smart move to switch to podcast form nowadays. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I agree. Mm-hmm. You know who else agrees? Who? Thieves. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> maybe, maybe one could say a sea of thieves. So, Sea of Thieves Thieves, closed beta (laughs) will run from January 24th at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to January 29th Eastern Standard Time at 3 a.m. The closed beta will be accessible to anyone who pre-orders the game or who joined the uh, Sea of Thieves Insider Program before December 1st, 2017. Users will be able to stream, create videos, share clips, and take screenshots as they please during the closed beta as it will not be covered by an NDA 
and the closed beta itself will feature only a portion of the game rather than the full game. So if you're interested in Sea of Thieves, that rare pirate game mm-hmm. on the Xbox, to jog people's memories. Yeah, yeah. you guys oh. want to be like the the real life YouTubers they brought on for their demo. Yeah. No, no, no I thought the terrible. demo was like was just like a dude with a pirate accent. Was it? Well, they had one where they had like oh, a they? bunch of like let's players, like oh, webcams and stuff. Like, yeah. oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, ah, yeah. It was really bad. Oh god, <laughs> it was cringy. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> so yeah, if you like modern rare and pirates, you're in for a treat. That pirate game looks fun. Yeah, it, it looks cool. It's a game of friends that it won't play with you. Yeah, it looks. Like, it reminds me of that airship game. Oh, Guns of Icarus? Yeah, only pirates. Yeah. yeah. Yarg. Yarg. So you know what? We need a third story about sales data. Let's just get oh, into absolutely. it. Absolutely. We're in, boy. Yeah, this is yeah, Dragon this is Ball Z Universe 2 uh-huh. for Switch has topped 500,000 units. Cool. Which is a big deal because, first of all, mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. it's a port mm-hmm. of yeah. a game from like two years ago. Mm-hmm. At full price. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why people bought it. I don't know. <laughs> people honest. buying yeah. it. They hate it. <laughs> so, it's so uh, expensive. It's so expensive. So total sales for the Switch version of uh, Xenoverse 2, include, including both physical and digital sales, have topped 500,000 copies worldwide, uh, Nam- Bandai Namco announced. Uh, they noted that there has been a shortage of stock in Japan and asked the fans to please wait a little longer. To spend full price on this game. Yeah, <laughs> please, please. Once um, Fighters comes out, no one's buying it anyway. That's fine. Yeah, but I think this shows that like there's still interest in Xenoverse yeah. 2, and there will most definitely be a Xenoverse 3 Probably. down the road, mm-hmm. which is cool. <clears throat> and finally, the third news story of the day. Mm-hmm. Final Fantasy 12, the Zodiac Age, yeah. is coming to PC. Oh, Yay. cool. Everyone saw this coming. Yeah. So, it's releasing February 1st. It'll be priced at $50 with a 20% launch week discount. Cool. Oh, that's cool. Uh, it includes discount. all the modern advancements and features of it and features that are available in the PS4 version such as the latest generation visuals, a remastered soundtrack, new speed in trial modes, mm-hmm. fast forward function and many other enhanced features. Mm-hmm. So, the following new features will mm-hmm. be added to the PC version. So 60 frames per second, Ooh. Um, compatible with 21, uh, 21.9 ultra-wide monitors, up to three HD monitors can be used for potential 48, 16 by 3, Damn. 48.9 <laughs> experience. So oh, it's just God. like, crap. <laughs> you're in Final Fantasy. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, there's going to be three background music options, the original, the reorchestrated, mm-hmm. and soundtrack versions. Oh, oh, interesting. interesting. Whoa. I don't know what the soundtrack version is. Me either. All techno. Um, they're all they're all available from the beginning of the game. Um, maximize license points in Gil. You can use like cheats to get all oh, all that. Yeah. Oh, um, new functionality cool. added to grant players max license points in Gil from the configuration screen, and full controller support, stream, Steam trading cards, and more to optimize the PC wow. player experience. Yeah, wow. They learn from their like past like kind of crappy ports yeah they're just like hey listen this is like yeah you know the best way you're going to be able to play it so their recent final fantasy ports have been pretty good oh yeah and you can find almost every mainstay final fantasy game on pc yeah what about final fantasy 15 almost almost it's coming it's coming it looks so good on pc 15 what they showed my thing fell i thought that was your cat he's not mine (laughs) he only wishes yeah but uh, that's cool. Um, yeah, that's awesome. I still have. I keep thinking to myself, yeah, I got. I'll sit down Same. and play some Final Fantasy XII, mm-hmm. and I never do. A- AGDQ has been going on, so now that I hear new, Shh, like, we're not talk about that. But oh, now, sh- now that I hear new speed up options like Max Gill and Blaze yeah. I'm just like, oh, speed run strats. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> All right, I agree. So, upcoming releases. We got a little more than last week. Mm-hmm. January 18th, we got World to the West. The Switch, we got Street Fighter V Arcade Edition for PC, PS4. January 19th, we got Digimon Story, Cyber Sleuth, mm-hmm. Hacker's Memory, PS4, and the Vita. Mm-hmm. Just kept going. You know? Yeah. <laughs> and Kirby Battle Royale for 3DS. Yay. Cool. 
<laughs> so I have a question for y'all. Yeah. Have y'all, I mean, I guess you have been. Mm-hmm. Have you guys been watching a G D Q yes. in their sub only chat? Yep. <laughs> yep. Blake, what's what is A G D Q? Oh, how foolish of me. Awesome games done quick, twenty eighteen. Yeah. What is that? What? Uh, what, what is it? Oh, it's a <laughs> uh it's a charity event where what? um speedrunners come from all around the world. All around the world. And like they play video games fast. Yep. Awesome. Very fast. For charity. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah, I love AGGQ. Yeah, what? I've been watching it. Have, you haven't seen have. it? Oh, so what What? What playthroughs, speedruns have you seen? Um, I watched a Dishonored one, okay. which is really fun mm, because... Yeah, we watched that. Uh, yeah, uh, mm-hmm. they do an interesting thing where you can tilt in that game. It's like mm-hmm. first person, so you can like tilt around corners and stuff. And what the main shot is you tilt into doors, and then there's a blink ability, so you just tilt and clip through the door and then blink on the other side. So they use that a lot. Um, mm-hmm. It's crazy. Yeah. Uh, super fast. That was a really ridiculous run. Mm-hmm. He beat the estimate by a lot. He did, I yeah. Uh, but but I'm still um, Robin here. I, I didn't watch the whole thing, but I watched some of the Resident Evil 7 one. Um, oh, I they did it in an hour I, and 20 minutes. I saw a clip of like, on Madhouse which when there was like a jump scare and the, 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 the dude playing it did the same jump scare. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah, that was funny. He's like, because oh, because uh, yeah. they were talking about how it, like the game is meant for VR. Yeah. So like, there's one jump scare where the, the little girl Evelyn's talking to you, and then she like goes up to the screen, and, like laughs, like ah, and like he, this runner like did the same thing oh, to the camera, the camera at the same time, <laughs> and she did it. It was really funny. That's awesome. Um, I watched Mar- Wario Land three. I think or you mean four. F- it was four. Yeah. Yeah. Four. I watched that. Yeah, that was yeah. a good one. Yeah. Um, fantastic and, game by the way. Yeah, that was good. Fan- no, I mean, no, like, have you? I've played I've the never game actually before. Played it, no. Bruh. It looks the best. It looks really it's fun. It's the best. Uh, I love it. I watched a few others. I can't remember. What you watch top of my head though? I saw the Warrior Land Four speed run. I saw Agent Under Fire, mm-hmm. which was a really good speed run. Um, I was watching the uh, F Zero GX one, but I fell asleep. Oh, and really? I was like, do I rewatch this? <laughs> nah. <laughs> I bet it was later. fast. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I watched the uh, the awful block. If they I do did. awful games done quick, and there was one that's like a dog's life. It was really <laughs> just really bad. Was I, it awful? It was awful. I watched Animorphs, which was also really oh, bad. God. Uh, yeah, there was some funny ones in there. Oh, it was Superman sixty four. I watched. Oh, it. really? That was great. Uh, I would have liked to see that. That was really funny. I can't remember the other ones I've watched. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, it's good. Good. Stuff. I think last time I checked, there were over seven hundred thousand donations yeah I, did, when did I you did you guys see the 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 toad snipe in the no. super mario 3d world run no so oh, i we did remember we caught the end of that remember we? they were doing the jump and th- oh no we were watching um yeah 3d no 3d land I, no 3d world yes. yeah for wii u no well, pretty one yes from yeah 3DS. remember yeah. tuesday oh yeah he we was doing watching. the uh the leap onto the cat bowser uh, uh yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. What were you gonna say? So basically, I guess like um, Luigi like won like because they were like who does the there it was like a donate to, see. donate to see who does the last level mm-hmm. yeah and like Toad was in like last place yeah and like Luigi was in first place and then someone like right like the ten seconds time. before put a four thousand donation for Toad <laughs> oh and it was like it's my Toad says it's my turn now. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that's awesome. awesome! Good donation, jeez. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. Some people donate a lot to that, oh. which I mean, good on them. If they have yeah, the money. It goes to Doctors Without Borders. I, yeah, are they yeah. still doing Doctors Without no, Borders it's this year? Prevent Cancer Foundation. This oh, year. Prevent Cancer Foundation. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah, screw those doctors. <laughs> Give them borders. <laughs> <laughs> I'll donate one year. Yeah. I think I did last year. I donated like twenty bucks or something. When we're rich, don't con YouTubers. <laughs> Yeah, I have Dokkan funds to yeah. to contribute to. Can so. I donate <laughs> dragons to, <laughs> <laughs> to my dragons? <laughs> Not those cancers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's good stuff. Mm-hmm. Some other playthroughs there coming out. It stops. The, it's till the end of this weekend, right? Yeah, Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. Sunday. I'm sure they'll do some crazy stuff towards the end. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool. All right. So that's uh, that it for yeah everything. Oh, we didn't talk about what we played this that week. Let's Kobe. Have a... Yes. What did you play this week, my child? I played a new game this week <gasps> mm, called uh, They Are Billions. 
Billions and billions, billions, billions and billions. I've wanted uh, to play what this is game. It? After you talk about the time sync this game is, I don't know. If, I don't know if I want to. So essentially, it's a game. Uh, it's like an indie game. Um, it's like twenty bucks. Where you start off with a, a command center in the middle of a randomly, like procedurally generated map, and you start off with like five like warrior, mm-hmm. like one soldier, four rangers, like yeah. bow users. And the object of the game is to build up your colony while warding, uh, by, while yeah, excuse me, warding off zombies. So um, the map generates with a random amount of zombies at the beginning that you're kind of just like hanging around and then waves like come at you uh, yeah. time to time. And it's a really hard game. Yeah. Uh, you have to balance, you have to resource manage um, and then, you know, fortify and try and expand because, you know, the more people you get in your colony, the more you have to feed them and mm-hmm. you have to get food, wood, iron. Um, eventually, I guess you have to get oil, but I never got that far. Uh, stone and gold yeah um every so often you get like a mayor like elected that gives you like, a special bonus but it's one of those games where like one you can't save stum it because it auto saves itself mm-hmm. uh well as soon as you exit the game like all right i tried being a scumbag because i spent a lot of time on on like my run and then i got wiped uh well i was starting to get wiped and i was like oh, okay i saved it before so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna like control alt delete and then just like crash the game, mm-hmm. but I like auto save when it crashed. And I was like, son of a bitch. So damn. So yeah, well, th- that game is like it's one of those games where you're not meant to win. You're just meant to see how far you can get. You can win because well, there's, there's a time period. You can. Yeah. But it's, well, you're it's, not. It's not meant. It for you sucks because when you win, you unlock more like different maps. Yeah. Like, all different sort of maps. Mm-hmm. But I can't win. It's really <laughs> hard. I unless I put it on like the easiest difficulty, and I don't want to do that. Yeah. I, I want to do like the average and. Yeah. Uh, I'll get it eventually, but it's. I spent like two hours on a run, only to like there was one little part of my base that was like, oh, it's under, it's gonna be under attack soon. So I was like, oh, okay, and I moved all my guys there, mm-hmm. and it just wasn't enough. They just like it's over right now. They just pulled. It was like freaking World War Z. Like, <laughs> it's lame. Whatever. Yeah, but it's a fun game. Mm-hmm. I wish you could play with people though. I would really enjoy co-op. this game more if I had a co op. Yeah, like a buddy. That was. It's, it would be really fun co op. But yeah, they are billions. Uh, it's a good game. Check it out. If you like zombies and then turtling. Mm-hmm. Boom! Uh, and then I played the usual Blizzard games. Mm-hmm. Um, that's about it. New stuff for me. Doki Doki Literature Club. Yep. What about you, Blake? What have you played this week? Nothing new, but... Oh. Um, so Duel Links is celebrating its one-year anniversary. Cool. So, so this is like the most generous like gacha game like... Mm. ever they're like all right well here's here's 1500 gems wow. which in in dokkan that'd be currency that'd be like a lot of money like mm. if like you're like if it was like 1500 equivalent values you know yeah, yeah. do you know like, roughly well no i mean not like 1500 dragon stones like because right. like you need um it's like 500 yeah. gems yeah for like ten cards, oh, okay. basically. Yeah. So if you like, you uh... estimate enough. And... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Anyways, so they give you that, and then um, they also gave you the chance. So you you know the strings, the dude that's cipher card in the show. Oh, the piercing dude. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So he 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 uh he appears as a duelist, and if you if you beat him, you get cipher. Awesome. So. Now you have the ability. Now you have two god cards if you play the Marek event. Yeah. So the only one you don't have is uh, Obelisk. Um. There's also they also released a uh, a box which has like a lot of like UR cards from like previous like uh, uh duelist boxes and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they're like they're all like the good ones and like yeah. it's like 200 gems for like for like a a pack where you get 10 cards and a guaranteed UR card. Wow. So it's like, yeah, they are being generous, yeah. huh? Yeah, so it's a lot of like fan servicey good stuff, and that, that team's only been out for a year. Yeah, oh, it seems like longer, right? It, it's not like a U.S. year release; it's just like overall, like. Um, I global. think the Japanese release was November of 2016. Oh, okay, but like the worldwide release was in last year. So. Awesome. All right. Mm-hmm. In Dokkan, nothing's happening. Wow, nothing. It's been like a dry spell, of like, whoo, but like. Before, I was like, oh, there's so much happening. I'm spending all this money and grinding mm-hmm. all these events. So, I'm like, I'm complaining. 
but I was complaining about the opposite before. They were just like, so, they're just like bored now. Like this is not enough yeah, to do. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Don't worry. They, they, because like the the three year anniversary, yeah, at least in Japan, the Japanese version mm-hmm. is at the end of this month, so there's gonna be like. Do you like climb oh, the PvP events. ranks in that? Do you bother? There, there is no there's, PvP. It's a single no. player game, baby. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah. <laughs> you just play for the satisfaction of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Found that. I thought there were like rankings you were going no. up. That's why you needed the best dudes. <laughs> no, you just. It's like it's. A, you just. It's like if you're collecting cards. Yeah. And you hate yourself. It's like the best combination of all. Don't you collect cards to like show them to people? Yeah. Yeah. Do all stuff right, with them. Right. Listen. Open doors with them yeah. when you're locked out. Like. Don't judge me, man. Yeah, I'm not. No. I'm, no, I just thought it was PvP. That's all I'm saying. I'm bringing the views, man. <laughs> people time stamping us. You you're know. Right. You know you're we right. made it. Yeah. That's it. All right. Mm-hmm. David. Yeah. What are you playing? Barely anything. Battle Chasers and Blizzard games. Oh, yeah? That's it. That's it? Nothing new? I've been just balls deep in Battle Chasers. Like Balls deep? I, like, I'm I'm doing, I'm just doing post-game stuff, and I'm just so into it. Mm. It's just so... I got, like, three out of the six ultimate weapons, then half my characters max level, and I'm just Jeez. just doing it. It's fun. You people. It's Both fun. of you <laughs> play games for longer than I ever could for, like, specific <laughs> games. It's super fun. Michael. I'm just uh, waiting out until uh, Detective Pikachu comes out, you know? I'm holding out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gotta save my money. It's probably a bullet, like $40 release. Yeah. Yeah. Good shit. All yeah. right. Anybody watch anything recently that they like? Oh, I Ooh. saw Jumanji. Oh, you saw the new Jumanji. Yeah. How was it? Yeah, how was that? Pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, I've been hearing I good I thought things. it was good. I thought it was very good. <laughs> like, like, good or just, like, fun? Listen. Me and Ashley were like laughing throughout the entire awesome. thing. It was great. It was How was Jack great. Black? Tell me. Was he the best part of the movie? He's not the best, <laughs> but he's like second place. Okay. Who's the yeah. best? Um, Kevin Hart's very funny. Mm-hmm. You think he's the yeah. best? Yeah. Oh. So okay. I saw a movie pitch the other day, and I want to throw it at you guys. Who you think? Lay it on me. A movie about Kevin Hart's family. Okay. Where Kevin Hart plays every member of his family except for Kevin Hart, who who the Rock plays him. <laughs> So it's I like it. a bunch of short people and then yeah. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Yes. All right. I hey. found it. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Sounds like, like it. A good, it sounds like a good movie to me. So, That's probably going to be a movie. Yeah, when you started so. like explaining that, I, uh-huh. the, I immediately thought of the Nutty Professor. Which, <laughs> like Eddie Murphy plays literally yeah. everyone. It's Kevin Hart as everyone except for Kevin Hart, who's played by the Rock. Awesome. Mm-hmm. I'm down. Yeah. On that note. You need to see Jumanji. I, I, I thought mm. it was like a reboot, but it's not. I didn't think it was a reboot. I thought it was just its own thing. It's a sequel. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, it's Robin Williams like coming back from the dead. <laughs> and he's just like, no. <laughs> no, no, no he's, he's not in the fucking movie. Why would, he, like, why would he be in the movie? They CG out of Moff Tarkin in Rogue One. <laughs> anyway, well, before spoilers are said, you look so like disjointed. Why would he be in the movie? It's stupid. <laughs> he's all... <laughs> I assume, like, if he was alive, he'd be in the movie. Yeah, I think he'd be, like, a little cameo. Yeah. Just be, like, video games, and he's done. Like, that's it. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for joining us for the Teeth Tap the Nets podcast. Yeah. Check us out on all of our social medias. You can check us out on twitch.tv slash Teeth Tap the Nets. I'm not going to name all of them like that. It's going to be SoundCloud, <laughs> uh, SoundCloud, Switch, iTunes, Doodle Play Music, not Spotify, YouTube, Facebook, all the good... Oh, that was my chair. All the good stuff. <laughs> Uh, you can look up Keep Tapping Nuts with no G. It's Keep Tapping Nuts, no G. Mm-hmm. I just want to say, yeah. Yeah. Um, so Jumanji came out in 1995. Uh-huh. Yeah. And in the beginning of the movie, there's like a little, you know how like in movies, there's like at the bottom, this is a year. This mm-hmm. is 1996. Oh. Because stuff, stuff happens. Watch Yo, the movie. I'm so curious. <laughs> Watch the movie. Um, it's good. Oh, is that your... We need to do recommendation. You did is it, it my turn? I, I mean, you what? did it last time, I believe. No, didn't no, I did. Oh, I did it last time. So, Blake, aside from Jumanji, if you do recommend anything <laughs> to anyone out there in the entire cosmos, whether it be a uh, brand of wood shavings, it could be uh, your favorite numbered pencil, could be your uh, favorite mystical animal. I got it. Choose. Yeah. I recommend yeah. WD-40. Um, It's used a lot uh-huh. for squeaking... Related things like <laughs> whether it be doors, 
whether it's the squeaky chairs. Uh-huh. What are you talking about? It's very, it's very, it's very um, useful. It's a common household item. It's yeah. Dread yeah. lubricant. I, yeah. I recommend it. Like, before, like, mm. my girlfriend, like, the mm. door to her room was like, squeak! But I was like, bwick, 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 bwick. Yeah, you, you went Tin Man well, on Nyla. I did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Awesome. All right, WD40, everyone. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, please hit that like, uh, like the heart. Smash whatever. that like. Yeah, smash <laughs> that like. Hit that subscribe button. Every little bit Click helps. Click the bell. Click the bell. Um, that re reshare button on SoundCloud. Hit all the buttons yep. Yep. besides the dislike ones. Click buttons. Anyway, have a great night, everyone. See you next week. See ya. Damn, boy.